Hi loves, it's Shonda, how are you? And welcome to Shonda Says. Today's topic is probably going to be a little emotional for some of you. It is coming from a very emotional place and it's definitely a topic that I can relate to. And even something happened recently where this particular subject came into play for myself. But this is coming from a conversation I had with a very, very, very close friend of mine. And um, I said, you know what, this is a really great topic and I really need to discuss this. So today's topic is all about weight and how our weight affects us. Now, if you're a fan of Shonda Says, you know, as early as three weeks ago, I did a video where I talked about how I recently lost um, 30 pounds and now I'm more closer to 40. So I'm still a work in progress with that. I have my good days, I have my bad days. But I'm definitely going to follow up into a video regarding my weight loss. But this was more about what I want to talk about today is coming from insecurity. And how our weight and how our insecurity with ourselves affects our relationships, our friendships, our employment. Um, just our whole attitude and our whole being. So we were, me, me and my friend were talking and and I will reveal this to you that her and her man got into an argument and the argument was based on them about to have sex and she started going into oh I'm fat oh I'm this and I'm that and it turned him off and he was like I'm so sick and tired of you complaining about something that you're not going to change I'm cool with it but because you're not cool with it, you're bringing this insecurity in and it's affecting the relationship. And I thought about how much that really happens with us women. How we oftentimes will allow our weight to keep us from doing everything and anything, even enjoying our lives. And being a part of the world and being even present in our own relationships and how our weight affects us in such a way that we're almost like slaves. You become a slave to your body. And you become a slave to the insecurity and you become a slave emotionally and psychologically. You know, I know all of us women have been at a place where we're like, you know how you, you say, honey, how do I look in this? Or baby, how do, what do you think of my thighs? Or what do you think about this? How, do I look like this? We already know the answer to our questions. We just need someone to say to us that, oh no, you're, you're good, you're good, you're fine. But what if you have someone in your life that doesn't lie to you? And say, no, you have gained weight. How about women that have felt that their mate is wrong? Again, the sounds of New York. I'm in Harlem and there's motorcycles everywhere. You hear it? And honey, let me just tell you off topic real quick. They ride these motorcycles with no helmets and rough riders don't have nothing on these guys because they're doing tricks and everything. But back to subject. You know, we get to where we do as women and someone that I care for very much said to me you know as women do you want to hear what pleases your ear you don't want to hear the truth and I'm like no that's not I want to hear the truth but do we really want to hear the truth and when it comes to our weight because we emotionally we know the truth do we want to hear it a lot of times we don't want to hear it, but we need to hear it. We need someone in our life that is truthful and honest. And of course you want the honesty to come from a place of compassion. But the reality is a lot of us have allowed our weight to get in and impede our lives. And don't get it twisted. Your weight will impede your life. It will impede employment. It will impede how people view you. It will impede how people feel about you emotionally. 
it will have people prejudge you because people do judge us on appearance. Is it right? No, but it's the world and that's what it is. But let's talk about relationships and love. How many of us women can admit that If you're in a relationship or a marriage and you've gained, let's say, at least 40 to 60 pounds, you think that your husband or your man should love you regardless and that he shouldn't have a say, he should just be supportive in you. But I'm going to say this to you, and this is a hard pill to swallow, but if you are a size 6, when you and your man got together, and now you're a size 18, it is quite possible that he will not be as physically attracted to you as he was before you gained 60 pounds. And that's a hard pill to swallow. And here's the other side of that coin. A lot of us will say, well, I just, I've been going through so much. I kind of gave up on myself. I give myself to other people. But here's the thing in that. If you've given up on yourself, why wouldn't it be possible that your man hasn't given up on you? If you haven't showed interest in yourself, why would he? And and let's reverse it. If you're If you've given up on your on your muscles or your weight as a man, why wouldn't your woman give up on you also? The reality is that food, inactivity, all these things could be just a band-aid for what's really going on. And losing weight allows us to address, the right way to lose weight allows us to address the mental side of what is what is the reason behind the weight most times for us women it's emotional or it could be an injury or it could be a loss it could be so many reasons why we are overweight and why we're not no longer active how many of us think about this as a woman how many of you have pulled out an old picture of yourself and you were looking fly and you were looking great. And you're showing everybody, oh, this is what I look, used to look like. And everyone's like, oh, my God, you look so beautiful. Oh, my God, you look this way. But what happened between then and now? What has happened? What has caused you to go from here to there? To figure out the weight loss, to get back to feeling better and looking better, you got to figure that out. And there ain't no low-carb diet, no high-carb diet. There's nothing that is going to give you a lasting result until you figure out what that mental and emotional issue is. And in the interim of you finding out, you may affect your relationships. Your insecurity is going to put you in a place where it affects your marriage, your friendships, your employment, everything. It will affect you. I'm not coming on and being a tough guy because I recently went through something regarding my insecurity. Um, and, you know, it put a mirror in my face. It put a mirror in my face like, you know, I think I have it together sometimes, but I really don't. As people, we are always growing and learning, and um, coming to terms with our faults is very, very difficult. It's so hard. But again, I'm going to share this, and I've shared this in Shonda says before. We have one life. One. And the years that we mess up, and the years that we make mistakes, and the years, and I'll say it, that we fuck up. We do not get that back. We don't get it back. So at some point, you have to come to a place of understanding and resolve and say, you know what? 
I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of other people paying for my issues and paying for my insecurity. I have to get my shit together. It's tough words for tough times because losing weight is not easy. It's not. And everybody wants to do everything easy. And another famous Shondaism is we have to serve the table before we sit down and eat. And what a euphemism to use based on food. But the reality is anything worth having, we have to serve it. Before we could sit down and relax, we got to do the work. Real quickly, a lot of us will look at, you know, um, famous people who have lost weight and say, oh, they have trainers, they have meals delivered. But at the end of the day, a trainer can't replace your work. A trainer can't come in and let's use Oprah as an example, can't run five miles for her. She still has to do the work. We all have to do the work. But in the process, let's not allow others to pay for our issues. But surround, us, surround yourself with people that understand you and understand your vulnerability and accept that you're vulnerable right now and helps you get to that place. It's important that you have a support system in place because losing weight is really more about emotion and learning to redirect habits that we don't always want to, you know, we don't always want to address. But listen, I'd be damned if I go any more years dealing with shit. And that's where you got to get like, I'm not doing it. I'm not taking on this. I'm not taking on that. But I am going to take on the challenge of being fit and being healthy and being emotionally happy because that shit is priceless you guys know that you can email me shonda says one at gmail.com you can follow me on twitter at shonda says and i am also on instagram under shonda says and listen i love you and i know the struggle i'm in it there are certain things that i do not talk about that i don't wish to talk about right now um, that I go through and you guys have noticed I don't wear my ring anymore I don't want to discuss it but I am going through that and when I'm ready to talk about it when he's ready to talk about it we'll discuss it but right now I'm just not ready to but please know that I come from a place of learning and growth as you and that I'm here to help you and if I can help you let me help you play this video a thousand times if you have to just kept just keep playing I love you. You know I love you. And thank you for tuning in. And we'll talk soon. And please leave your comments for other people. If you lost a significant amount of weight or a significant amount of emotional baggage, please leave it in the comments. Because viewers love the comments and they read it and it helps. Honestly helps people. So we'll talk soon. I'll be back. I love you. Give me a kiss. Bye-bye, babes.